ディズニー・アラディンディズニー・アラディン Once upon a time in the ancient city of Agra World there lived a rugged but handsome boy called アラディン He was very poor and often became so hungry that he had to steal food from the stalls in the marketplace. But Aladdin was determined he would not remain a thief forever. He dreamed of better things. One day, Abu, he promised his pet monkey, things will be different. Well, live in a palace. And wear fine clothes, not rags. Meanwhile, in the Sultan's luxurious palace, time was running out for beautiful Princess Jasmine. Her father, the Sultan, was becoming very anxious. But, dearest, he insisted, the law says, you must marry a prince before. Your next birthday. There are only three days left for you to choose a husband. The law is wrong, cried Jasmine. I don't want to marry anyone I do not love, even if he is a prince. Jasmine fled tearfully into the gardens and hugged her pet tiger. Oh, Raja, she said, I don't want to be a princess anymore. Then she planned her escape. Early the next morning, the princess disguised herself in a long cloak and climbed over the palace walls. Jasmine made her way through the bustling marketplace. Seeing a hungry child, she picked up an apple from a stall and offered it to him. The princess did not know that. She ought to pay the flute sailor. Stop, thief! shouted the man, rushing forward to seize the princess. But Aladdin, who happened to be passing, leapt to Jasmine's rescue. He led her to the rooftop where he and Abu lived. As he gazed at the beautiful young girl, he knew he was falling in love. Suddenly, the royal girls stormed up the staircase and arrested Aladdin. Where is him? By order of the princess, Jasmine cried, pulling back her cloak. The princess? gasped Aladdin. I would, your highness, said the chief guard, but my orders come from Jafer. And the guard dragged Aladdin away to the palace dungeons. Now, Jafar was the Saladin's most trusted advisor, but unknown to the Saladin, he was plotting to take over the throne. Jafar knew of a magic lamp that would give him all the power he needed, but it was hidden in a mysterious cave in the desert. The tiger guard that guarded the cave had told j a f e r that only a diamond in the rough could enter the cave, someone whose worth was hidden deep within. Using his magical powers, j a f e r found out that this was Aladdin. So, disguised as an old beggar, j a f e r freed. The boy from the dungeon and led him through the desert. Promising great wealth, j a f e r persuaded Aladdin to enter the cave and get the lamp for him. The fearsome tiger god warned them to touch nothing but the lamp. Inside the first chamber, Aladdin and Abu met a friendly magic carpet who showed them. Where to find the lamp? But just as Aladdin picked it up, Abu caught sight of a magnificent jewel in the hands of a giant monkey statue. Forgetting the tiger god's warning, Abu quickly snatched up the jewel. At 
that the very moment the cave walls began to collapse, and the flower gave way, Aladdin, Abu, and the magic carpet were trapped. When the earthquake had stopped, Aladdin studied the lamp. What's so special about this dusty old thing? He wondered, rubbing it clean with his hand. Suddenly, the lamp started to glow. A cloud of smoke billowed from its spout and became an enormous shape with laughing eyes and curly beard. I am your genie, direct from the lamp, said the amazing creature. To prove it, he released Aladdin from the cave and offered him three wishes. Aladdin 